Hey guys, down to the brick here. Today I have a very cool mock based off the Star Wars Resistance animated TV show. So this is one of the racer starships. Um, this is the Fireball. And this has not been a Lego set before. There's only been two Lego Star Wars Resistance sets. Um, so I decided to make this because I thought this was the coolest um, uh, racer starship out of all of them, in my opinion. Um, so let's get right into it. I tried to make this as movie accurate as I could. The colors are a bit off. There was a bit more like greenish and orangey or like um, the more darker yellow color. But I did what I could. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy. So let's start off with the front. I have this cool round barrel at the front here. And then um, just a piece, a rounded um, cylinder piece for the front. And these little side wings. They can move up and down like this. They're supposed to be in that sort of position. And then I did add flick missiles here but that's not really meant for a play feature it's more or less meant for looks because it sort of looks like that um and then there's a nice slope here um there and then right in front of the cockpit there's also a gray little bit there so i added uh some gray there and we'll move on to the side here i added uh, a nice plate here and that plate is just one of those um here, I'll show you. It's just a 4x4 with a 1x4 set of um, studs there. And I just put a 2x4 um, yellow uh, tile. So yeah, it fits nicely and it looks like it's flowing. Um, then around the wing here, I added quite a bit of detail. And I added a spring-loaded shooter here. So you just press down on it and then it shoots. Um, and over here, I added a couple of these fins, one on either side. Those were from the Resistance Troop Transport set. Then I added two dual um, guns on the other side, just in case you don't want to have the spring shooters or whatever. Or just leave them, because you don't want to fire them off all the time, because you'll lose them all. But uh, yeah, I added these, which are pretty cool. Um, and around back, I think I did a pretty good job of making the engines here. I just have these big... Um, round cylinder pieces and then added uh, a little cylinder addition side representing an engine um, and then I have three little engines here um, they're just like a little wheel um, just the inside of the wheel um, and then I added another engine here and on this side it looks just like the other side just smeared um, and yeah the other difference is Instead of that lighter yellow color, I mean the darker yellow color here, I put, made it a bit more light there. Just for some more effects. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's around the same. And you'll see that throughout the whole thing. Like with these slope pieces here, I just mixed it with like uh, the darker yellow. Just to add some more like wear effect to it. And yeah, the resistant troop transport came with two of these fins. So I put them on either side and that looks good. Um... Now we'll take a close look at the top of the back. So for the top of the back, I added quite a bit of detail with the grill pieces. Um, and those like binoculars look really good. And also with those um, the sticks there, or whatever they're called. Um, these ones right here, they add some really cool detail. Um, and right here you can see I added some of those uh, fire extinguisher top parts in black. And it looks pretty good. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna have side-by-side -side pictures, um, just to show you, um, how I tried to make it movie accurate to the real thing. Now we're just gonna take a quick look at the cockpit. So inside here, we just have a couple control panels, and my sig fig is right here. And yeah, I just put them inside because I didn't have any of the, uh, Lego Star Wars Resistance, um, minifigures. So, I just put them inside, um. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for the cockpit. Um, not too much else. Um, a minifigure does fit inside. I did have to up, prop it up a bit, so that's why there's a bit of a little lump there. 
Whoops, almost forgot. But I'm just going to quickly show you the bottom. So for the bottom here, I added a tiny bit of landing gear that can fold out like this. And then it um, sits nicely. Um, it doesn't really work too well. It just added, I just added it for a show. And then when it's in flight mode, you can just pull it back. And even though it's not even a transport, I added a couple crates just because there was a big blank area here. And I just had space to put stuff, so I thought, why not? Um, I just added a couple guns in this one, and then the other one, if I can get it out, I just added a couple tools to fix it, so, um, that's kind of cool, that, um, yeah, that's why I added it, because there was just, like, a lot of space, so I was like, yeah, why not, um, but yeah, that's basically the bottom. Thank you so much for watching, please let me know what you think in the comments, I worked really hard on this. Um, and trying to get the shapes. I know a challenge for me was trying to figure out how to do that sort of slope and then make it go up a bit because uh, this is a very odd ship. Um, not odd, like odd in a cool way. Um, and yeah, to make it um, have that sort of movement um, was kind of challenging and also to make it look good and flow. Um, so yeah, if you could subscribe and like, that would um, be greatly appreciated and help me out a lot. Um, so yeah, see you in the next one.